Welcome back to our channel where we help you make the most of your Google Analytics data to grow your WordPress site and increase your revenue. Google Analytics lets you easily control who can see your data and what they can do with it. So in this video, I'm going to explain everything you need to know about Google Analytics user permissions, how you can manage them, and how you can use them and a lot more. If you need more details, be sure to check out this article. I'll leave a link in the description. So let's get started. First, it's important to understand that there are two different levels that you can grant permissions for, the account level and the property level. So granting permission on an account level applies to all the properties in your account, whereas granting permissions on the property level only applies to a specific property. Now, there are six different permission levels within both the account level and property level, administrator, editor, marketer, analyst, viewer, and none. Now, let's break down each of these and how you might possibly use them. The administrator role can do everything that the other five roles can do, plus they can also manage users. Now, this means that they can create new users, delete users, and change the permissions for existing users. The administrator role is the most powerful role in Google Analytics, and it should only be given to users who you trust to have complete control over your data. Next is the editor role. They can edit the account or property profile settings import data, and create customizations. This means that they can change the settings for the account, import data from other sources, and create custom reports and dashboards. Now, the editor role is a good choice for users who need to help manage analytics, don't need to have full access to the account. The marketer role allows users to view reports, create remarketing audiences, and edit conversions. This means that they can see the data for the account, create custom audiences for remarketing campaigns, and edit the conversions that are tracked by Google Analytics. The marketer role is a good choice for marketing team members who need to analyze data and track the performance of their marketing campaigns. Now, those having analyst role can only view and analyze reports. This means that they can see the data for the account, but they can't edit or create reports. The analyst role is a good choice for data analysts who need to deep dive into the data and identify trends and patterns. The viewer role has read-only access to view reports. This means that they can only see the reports if they've been created by other users. It's a good choice for stakeholders who just need to see the data but don't need to edit it or create any reports. And finally, the no-access role is those who are signed to that role can't access the account or property at all. This means that they can't see any data or reports for the account. The no-access role is useful for removing access from former users or users who should not have access to your account. Now, keep in mind that the specific permissions that you give to each user depends on the role in the company and what they need to do on their job. Now, here's some additional tips to managing your permissions in Google Analytics. Number one, only give users the permissions they need to do their job. Two, regularly review your user permissions and make changes as you need to. Three, revoke access to users who no longer need it. And four, use strong passwords and two-factor authentication to protect your account. All right, now let's look at how to add a user to Google Analytics and set up permissions. So first, you'll need to sign into your Google Analytics account and then click the admin option at the bottom left of the screen. Okay, now you're going to see the two access levels, the account level and the property level. Now, I'm using the property level in this example, so I'll click the property access management option at that level. Then if you have any current users, you're going to see them in the list with a brief summary of the permissions that they've been granted. Next, click the plus icon to add new users. Then select the add new user option. Now you'll see a new page where you can add new users and assign permissions. So now you'll need to enter the email address of the user that you want to add. If you're adding multiple users with the same permission level, well, you can just enter the email address too. Just be sure that you separate them by commas. Next, select the Notify New User by Email option. Then select the permission level that you want to allow. Then click the Add button, and that's it. You successfully added a new user or users to your Analytics account. Now they'll be able to view, edit, collaborate, or manage users in the Analytics account as per your permission levels that you've provided. Now, if you'd like to edit a user's permissions, well, you just need to navigate back to the account or property view and then to user management, and then navigate to the user's name. And after that, you can select and deselect user permissions as you like. And once you've made your changes, just click the Save button. Now, if you want to remove a user, just click the Remove button right next to the Save button. 
If you're using WordPress, Monster Insights allows you to set up user permissions based on their role, so you can decide who has access to your analytics reports inside WordPress. Of course, you'll need to make sure that you've connected your WordPress site with Google Analytics using Monster Insights. If you need instructions on how to do that, be sure to check out this post on how to set up Google Analytics in WordPress the right way. I'll leave a link in the description. Once you've completed the setup process and connected your site to Google Analytics, just head over to your admin sidebar and then hover your mouse over Insights and then click on Settings and then click on the Advanced tab right here at the top. Then scroll down to the Permissions section where you can set permissions for different types of WordPress users that can see your reports, save settings, and access form tracking. Then they can easily access your report by just going to Insights on your WordPress dashboard. So there you have it, a Google Analytics permission guide and how you can add a user. Now, we hope that you found this video helpful for growing your business and boosting your revenue. Don't forget to check out the links in the description for more details. Thank you for watching, and remember to subscribe for more tutorials, explainers, and helpful content like this. We'll see you next time. See your Google Analytics data in WordPress with Monster Insights. Get 50% off right now and subscribe for more helpful content like this.